and focus your mind to this bell sound and just try to follow this sound and let your body to settle down. Namo Tatsu Bhagato Rato Sama Sambuddhasu Namo Tatsu Bhagato Rato Sama Sambuddhasu Namo Tatsu Bhagato Rato Sama Sambuddhasu So dear Dhamma friends, your right palm on your left and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. Bring your attention to your whole body and feel your whole body as one. Mentally relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me, may all the success come to me. Also, think for a moment, this is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime, and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing your sensation. So in the beginning, we relax our body step by step as a preparation for our meditation. So remember each and every inhalation, exhalation. Do it deeply, gently and slowly, as much as you can. And also when you inhale, you inhale through your nose and when you exhale, each exhale you do through your mouth. In between inhalation and exhalation, hold few seconds and then slowly release. So bring your attention to your right arm. Now deeply, gently, slowly breathing through your nose to your right arm. Only for your right arm. And hold your breath. And slowly breathe out, gently, deeply take all the breath out of your right arm. And bring your attention to your left arm. Deeply, gently, slowly breathing to your left arm, through your nose. Hold it. And slowly release through your mouth. Release the breath through your mouth. And your back and your spine, deeply, gently, slowly breathing to your spine. Hold for a moment. 
and slowly, deeply, gently breathe out through your mouth. To your abdominal area, bring your attention. Slowly, deeply, gently breathing to your abdominal area. And hold it. And breathe out through slowly, gently, deeply through your mouth. Now your chest, breathing deeply, gently, slowly. Hold it and breathe out slowly, gently, deeply, breathe out. Your right leg. Deeply, gently, slowly breathing through your nose to your right leg. And hold for a moment. And slowly, deeply, gently breathe out. Left leg, slowly, deeply, gently breathing to your left. And breathe out slowly, deeply, gently. Release all the air from your left leg. And your neck and head, deeply, gently, slowly breathing to your neck and head area, filled with air. And breathe out. Okay, now your whole body, so breathing to your whole body, Slowly, deeply, gently through your nose. And hold it. And breathe out through your mouth. Slowly, gently, deep. Again, breathing to your whole body. Like you putting your into a balloon, head to toes, each and every place should feel the air. And hold it. And breathe out. Again, deeply, gently, slowly breathing. Keep it. And breathe out. One more time, deeply, gently, slowly breathing to your whole body. And hold it. And breathe out. and bring your attention to your whole body and scan head to toes. Observe your posture. Okay. 
don't don't move yourself just let your body to settle down and develop an unmovable posture and slowly try to take a mental note regarding all the sensation any feelings pain or pleasure take all the feelings whatever you can recognize anywhere in your body just recognize note it yourself don't try to change don't try to stop your mind there don't have a wish don't have any kind of arguments don't resist it accept each and every sensation and recognize any heat tightness heaviness hardness comfort be more aware and slowly note at three major places wherever in your body whatever the sensation or the feelings arise break it down to three places head to toes anywhere just go with only the physical pain we go with the bodily sensation keep it as a foundation to observe and out of that tree take the the most painful place and observe bring your attention to that place and observe it very carefully slowly don't be hurry try to locate wherever the pain arise can you get into a peace center don't hold it as you don't personalize sometimes whatever that physical pain you recognize can go higher or can slowly disappear and can remain the same for a moment again observe head to toes and get into the the next wherever that you found out the, the pain out of that tree so get the the second place observe it if it is there then keep observe if it is not there if it is already disappeared find another place don't think out of that pain or sensation maybe it can be pain or pleasure there are some 
feelings arise which you cannot describe. Just let it be, but recognize. It is neither pain nor pleasure. And observe, while you're observing, if you can slowly note a little bit, put your attention, what you recognize as pain. It is really in your body or it is really in your mind, reflection, indication. Whatever the place you recognize, is there really any pain in that body or it is in your mind? And observe head to toes again. And get into that third place. If it is already gone, then find another place. Whatever the most painful place that you have in your body. Observe yourself. See where that play pain arise, what you recognize as pain. Is it really in your body or is it in your mind? Because if you accept it as it is, you cannot name it as a pain or pressure. So how about entire body? So whatever the pain or pressure, if you accept it as it is, which place you're going to pay that point out as sensation of the pain. Rather struggling. Rather achieving mental comfort. Just if you accept the bodily sensation as it is, how are you going to describe it? How are you going to understand it? how you can feel it. It is just the sensation arising, existing and disappearing itself. Sensation is kind of like a water bubble When the rain hit to the water itself in that very moment create a bubble. So when the necessary conditions they are related to heat, motion, liquidity and hardness, the sensation arises with the contact. When there is no contact, no pain. Even there is a sensation. If there is no consciousness related with that contact, it's just the sensation. So from where the consciousness comes, 
how it involving with your sensation and decide this is good feelings this is bad feeling talk to yourself why you take something as comfortable or discomfort don't try to be reasonable yourself be honest and you start to look bring your attention to your inhalation exhalation in front of your nose and your upper lip area just observe it and follow the rising and falling and recognize as it is this is your life not your past or the future accept it just be yourself bring attention to your body appreciate yourself you are so lucky to have this moment you are so blessed there are a lot of people in this world in this very moment they missing this moment and struggling with life fighting with death there are a lot of people go through fear anxiety depression helplessness hopelessness loneliness fighting with the disease or the illness appreciate yourself for your gratitude and share your heart share this moment with them may they come out of that struggle may they come out of that fear anxiety depression may they come out of that helplessness hopelessness loneliness may they have the strength and courage and wisdom to go through the situation and recognize themselves and find the liberation peace harmony balance within themselves not only them share this moment with your loved ones you are dear near ones your beloved parents brothers sisters friends and family members husband wife and your neighbors your village people city state country world the all living beings in this universe 
And as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars, let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion. From the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. And share this moment as paying your gratitude because you just experience this beautiful life. Mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings in this universe, be well and happy. And may their hearts be filled with joy. Being so frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or invisible near or far away. Already born or yet to be born, may all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. To your backside, to your left side, and to your right side, downward and upward. To all six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun spread the light. Spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance, without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma friends, and uh, today it is uh, International Mother's Day. And uh, everywhere in the world, during this uh, 
lockdown time period, people took a little time to to appreciate their mother. And uh, there are a lot of people took selfies and make a kind of like a, a arrangement and flowers and some people make cakes and celebrate with uh, their mother and most of them they cannot go out and some people used to take her mother for a ride just inside the vehicle and different different ways as much as you can you you appreciate your mother but at the same time and we have to little bit go deeper and recognize because when uh, when somebody that giving you life and when you have that life within yourself you have to remember the giver had the, the reason the giver itself had a purpose so if you want to really appreciate the giver what you have to do sending back any present sending a card and uh, making a call and saying i love you and giving a hug and taking a selfie and post and see how many likes you get and uh, so what do you think when somebody deliver you with the message so what you what you can do the best to the deliver the fulfilling the message so achieving the purpose yourself is the best that you can do to to whoever that gave you this life so then why you have to appreciate parents because and uh, today i had this uh, uh, morning this uh, dhamma school and these children used to give very very you know uh, beautiful answers and they take care us they feed us and they take us to school and they put us to sleep and they uh, uh, take us to play so they used to give like that so why why you really need to appreciate your parents so remember especially it is mothers day and we just uh, as paying our gratitude we give this time to our mother and uh, we just little bit uh, focus and see what we can find just think for a moment the the place you sitting the space you holding in this very moment inside your house so entire this universe it doesn't matter how big this entire this universe this is the place that you you hold there is no one else this is your place the wherever you sit and if somebody else before you come to this place if somebody else sit there and hold that place if something was there you not going to have this it is not available for you so then remember when it come to life there are two things very important time and space time and space your life is belong to time that's why by the time everything going to change and the before the the time start to play the role once you start to get into the position that's mean once you have the place the right away the next sprint next condition start to overtake your life is the the time 
so if you don't hold the position if you don't get the space you not belong to time so look anywhere it's everything it is once you occupied with the the space the time start to become powerful so in life this space that you hold you think it is belong to you this is me this is me even the physically but how, how it is start where it is start so the very important thing when you need to come to this world as a human being you need a mother without mother you cannot come in ordinary way in uh, there are different different other people say many things but i don't want to go to that but as a uh, ordinary people for us we need a mother even the buddha and uh, was waiting for the right mother and uh, everyone whoever came to this world as a human being if they didn't come through a mother they are life not going to become valid here remember that so you become valid once you come through a mother so when you when you are now already you know died in the other side and then one when you want to come here the very first thing you need you need a space in this world and you cannot get it because you are powerless in that moment you cannot just come to a mother's womb by yourself by posing no so the mother and father should uh, you know that they should be happy to have a child and they should accept somebody and they never saw you they never know who going to that what kind of behavior you going to have they don't know you going to be a girl or boy they don't know you going to give a hard time or not but still they had only single one thought we need a child and there are a lot of people there are a lot of parents because of many condition they cannot cannot have that moment they say no 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 this is not the moment we need we, we cannot have a child during this time and i i heard there are a lot of people and there are a lot of doctors advice during this uh, corona virus time period don't have a child because nowadays you know this uh, or the next this uh, the virus behavior what is happening to children so so like that there are situations come and there are some economical situations come they cannot have a child and they cannot uh, maintain their life so they don't want to give uh, any kind of pain or they don't want to see their children suffering and there are many many reasons there that you can find not to have a child and there are some parents you know once the that the child come to this mother's womb the father maybe don't like it or maybe mother don't like it they wash the child abortions you know in the world and you be counting every day oh this much people died because of the corona 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 and go and look how many children unborn children die every day because of the abortions it it's it's happening around us a millions millions once a year you can count and in the from the mother side in from the society from uh, different different uh, human right organization non profit organizations so, you know the people there are a lot of people try to you know say many things and try to that uh, balance that decision and tell it is okay but the point is this look yourself if you are mother 
before you come to this world if your mother took that decision then thinking whatever the difficulty that you go through and you decide i don't want a child if your mother decide that even even without knowingly the father the mother has the power it herself to take the decision regarding your life if she thought herself i don't want this child for my life you are not here today even your father don't know from where you come to whom you belong only the mother knows that we are the who is the who is your real father and if she decide regarding something just thinking her comfort and maybe your life going to change so the very first thing then you have to remember the space that giving come here as a human being 100% accept and validate by your mother and that's why you are here today like this even without knowingly who you are what you going to think about and maybe you have many many reasons to think about your parents and try to you know find a shortcut to move away but just remember without any condition without any limitation pay you a 100% gratitude from the bottom of your heart that acceptance your mother did for you because you cannot pay back to it and nine and a half month you know she used to take care of you as a part of your life and your heart beat from that day to today you know boom 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 every moment every moment when the when the your heart start you know to that develop inside your body it needs certain heat to activate it like a, you know jump start like when the the battery need the jump start your mother heart start to giving you to your heart that jump start that's where your life is start that's why that her current the her power still in your life giving you this beautiful experience the day you cannot any more keep that currents you did so we talk about this all the immune system and this everything and uh, how to have a good health this everything you know so this conscious immunity it's a start in the mother's womb when your mother and father stay together at that time if the mother was not happy you you going to have very low immune system if the mother was completely happy with that moment you know you going to have a very strong immune system and why this vitamins or that things you cannot fix it see how your life generate within the nature of your mother how you can pay back and then after that once you come to this world you no know, and from the first day and she used to take care you as much as her can so and then the the strength that they gave still within yourself that why you experience this human life so remember the space that she gave in her womb in her life you cannot pay back even you accumulate this all the wealth in in the in this world and put it to one hand and give it to your mother here 
release me from that bond still you cannot do it even you keep your mother on your shoulder and you walk around this world and giving all the facilities until your leg and little by little little by little little by little disappear till to your hip and still you are you cannot tell mother i already paid for you no so that much deeper bond that you have so remember so maybe your mother with you today and maybe she no longer with you today and you have no idea and how hard was her life how difficult was her life each and every mother in this world you know go through a hell when they try to raise a child so then yourself you have to remember so still they have a purpose in you if you able to fulfill that purpose you done that is the day that you can pay back to them so what is the purpose when when the any parents you know they when they raise a child what is the purpose they have so the very first thing remember never give a hard time to them always try to make them comfortable it doesn't matter they right or wrong try to make them a little bit comfortable and never give a hard time and other thing is yourself remember be comfortable yourself and be a happy person wherever you are parents that is one of the major thing that they looking inside their heart wherever my children if they are if they happy so if they if you become worry sad unhappy you know, the very the more than you your parents become unhappy regarding yourself so then you have responsibility to take care of your life and just don't be just a ordinary person and bring and put some value on you and your ancestors your grand grandparents your grandparents your parents sacrifice a lot to give you this opportunity take it accept it and at the same time what you can do be be very comfortable yourself have a happy comfortable life and how you can pay back remember one thing is giving space the same like your mother gave to you the space in her life remember to give a space to somebody unknown to come to this world be a mother yourself be a father yourself and give you a best it doesn't matter what you can do give your best as much as you can without looking back anything that is the day you go and you can pay back to your parents be a good parent we have million million parents in the world we have many mothers we have many fathers in the world but it is very difficult to find a good mother what is that good mother means that mean you know the completely with the loving kindness and compassion giving her life to the child and and developing the child to become a better person to that child and to the world so then yourself you have that opportunity as paying your gratitude to your mother remember to be a good mother and be a good father and also be a good child be a good person yourself and do your best work hard as much as you can and try to become better person and be rich yourself and take care of your parents why because you spend so much money so much hard time thinking my parents my parents my children my children and one day will be happy and sometimes when they find something that the 
something to eat and they bring it to you and wherever they go if they find any comfort the very first thing come to their mind is you so then yourself you have a lot of opportunities today and after this lockdown remember have a purpose to your life and be a better person and work hard and uh, be a person that you come forward when your parents die come forward as it doesn't matter you have many uh, brothers sisters and come forward yourself at least be a person be a child that you spend all your money to your parents funeral don't don't try to make a go fund page and look for fund from other friends to do your parents your mother's funeral what the point having a child like that and but today people think it's a kind of like a, you know it's a very good thing to do it's a shame as a person you know they sacrifice everything and even you become a person you cannot spend some money you know to do their funeral and sometimes you just you know stay away from them and you just find your own way no remember the what the buddha said if you able to take care of your parents and treat them well it's same like you treat him to the buddha take care of the buddha so you have many difficulties you have your own life you have your own path but still when it come to parents without any condition without any limitation give you a best if you cannot do it it's okay but if you can do you have to do it and one day once they go on you know it give you 100% satisfaction it become a blessing to you it uplift your life so and another thing is the ultimate happiness that we can achieve is the the enlightenment or to become a better person ourselves so in ordinary life try to be the best version of you be the be a better person for yourself and do the service to the society and wherever you go and whatever the situation come to you if there is a place that you have to work for others maybe strangers come to you and you don't know who is this this person but do your best maybe you are workplace maybe you are in in the market maybe even in the traffic light strangers come to you and if there is something you have to do remember do your best don't look for identity don't look for relationship don't depend on friendship why because when you look for the space in come to this world your mother gave her best without knowing your identity without knowing your relationship without having any friendship she gave her best and accept you so then as a person wherever you go as a husband as a wife as a children as parents as a friends family as a citizen as a human being wherever you go whatever the situation come without any condition without any limitation without any judgment or without any resistance perform your best in that very moment wherever your parents in this universe above the sky they will see you and bless you and they will be happy oh my child doing her work his work oh my child is take caring this human life oh my child is a happy child so dear friends and remember having parents to our life it's a bless and at the same time they nourish us and at the same time we have to remember ourselves to nourish our our life with the good things and good qualities and give it to your 
next generation and the in this very moment that is the best that we can do and at the same time take caring ourselves and try to find the the liberation or the salvation or the enlightenment to yourself and so i hope this will help for you for today and we support for your all parents and especially if your mother passed away i wish upon wherever she is may she be able to gain this merit if she is living in a low existence may she be able to attain to high existence may she if she living in a high existence may she be able to attain supreme bliss of nibbana and also if she live with you or anywhere in this world may she be able to gain this merit and have the good health and safety during this time period may no harm come to her may no difficulties come to her may no problems come to her and also if you are a mother by the power of this soul meritorious activities remember you are experienced the highest in this human world and you are the the guardian angels to this human world and you have that responsibility without holding anything in your heart try to do your best for your tomorrow and by the power of the soul meritorious activities may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhityo vajjantu sabbarogo vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sukidigayuko bhav ittavata chammi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe devanu modantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhutanu modantu सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सबे सत्तानुमोदंतु सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया इदं मे पुण्य कमंगास वक्या वहंगो तु सब दुखा पमुंचतु ब्लेस यू